Hi guys, Tom here, welcome to the vlog. At some point in everyone's life they've imagined what it would be like to have superpowers and how cool that would be. I am a big fan of comic books and I know I have thought that, but in real life superpowers wouldn't be as viable as they are in TV shows, comics and films and I'm going to talk about some of those today. Right, first off, super strength. Imagine how cool this would be, you've got the ability to pick up cars and throw really heavy things around, hold up buildings, catch falling planes, all that cool stuff. But in the real world, this isn't going to work quite as well for you as you would think. If you're unable to control your super strength, you're going to have some issues doing everyday things. For example, having a drink, you'll pick up a glass and <laughs> the glass is gone. Also, if you go to shake someone's hand if they're thanking you for doing something, you are either going to break every single bone in their hand or launch them into the stratosphere as you shake the hand, which isn't going to earn you much thanks as a superhero. Okay, secondly, invisibility, which is kinda useless unless you're naked. Because if you turn invisible with your clothes on, the clothes will still be visible, meaning you are still completely visible to anyone that's trying to get you. If they're trying to shoot you, they can just shoot for the clothes. And then, even if you are invisible, you won't be able to see where stuff is easily without using trial and error first, so you're fumbling for doorknobs and spoons and things like that, which normal people that can see their hands don't do, see? I can pick stuff up. If I was invisible, that would be much harder. Okay, next, the ability to catch fire, a la Johnny Storm the Fantastic Four. This, in my opinion, is literally the most useless superpower ever. Why? Everything you touch will spontaneously combust. This isn't going to be very helpful unless you're going into burning buildings. Even if you do that, you can't really save people because when you pick them up, they will turn into people barbecue. Even if you enter a building that isn't on fire, if you accidentally activate your superpower, that building will then be on fire anyway, which isn't going to be much use to anybody. The ability to freeze time is something that I've often thought about, and I think it's kind of a cool idea, but then when you begin to break it down into what would actually happen, it becomes kind of useless. Think about it this way. When people think of time freezing, they think of objects freezing statically in the air that are in motion. Planes and water fountains and stuff like that. Which would mean that all objects that normally retain some sort of fluidness to them would freeze. For example, clothing. If you froze time, you would be frozen inside your clothes unless you were naked. Which seems to be a recurring thing, actually. But yeah, you'd be trapped inside this clove armour suit, which you wouldn't be able to get out of. If everyone was frozen like this, you wouldn't be able to interfere with anyone or anything around you. The only real use of this power would be short-range naked teleports, which sounds much weird when you say it out loud than it did in my head. Okay, laser vision. This is quite cool, but very impractical, especially if you can't control your laser vision like Cyclops from the X-Men. I mean, if you are out, say, watching the wildlife, and you look up, and <laughs> you have barbecued bird, or just on fire, one or two, then there is the huge risk of accidentally cutting your own limbs off. If someone asks you for the time, you check your watch, <laughs> Your hand falls off. It's not going to be much use in any situation other than if you need to quickly heat up some popcorn. Finally, super senses in general. I mean like heightened hearing, better taste. The issue happens when someone tries to incapacitate you. Basically, it's really easy to do. Say for example, you roll up into the bad guy's lair. They wouldn't really have to do much to get the better of you. Be like this. Ah, oh, super guy, welcome to my lair! They shout the last word and you are suddenly on the floor writhing in pain, which wouldn't be particularly good. Things that smell unpleasant would be really, really unpleasant. Try getting a guy with super senses to clean a toilet. So yeah, you can see why some superpowers might not be as glorified as they're portrayed to be in the comic books. Hope you enjoyed this vlog. Feel free to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you next week.